So this is what we are going to create in this video. Here we have the item. And on the item we have the interaction script. The interaction script uses a event called on interact. And in here I have a, a custom script called destroy item. So when you go over and interact with item it's going to be destroyed. Uh, you can also choose other stuff like if you go on game object and then set active it's going to be disabled. Like that. Or you can do something like this. Transform set parent and make so the item becomes a, a child of the player so as you can see here now it's going to be following me it looks pretty weird but yeah if you want to make this then yeah follow along so the first thing we want to do is to get a empty game object uh, and we want to have a sprite renderer on that one and then we can choose whatever sprite we want and then we want to have a interaction script uh, I'm gonna call it interaction system uh, and then open that up in Visual Studio when you are inside of Visual Studio delete uh, the start and the update function the first thing we want to do is to be using Unity Engine Events. This will allow us to use the event system. Now we want to have some uh, variables. So serialized field, private, Unity Event on Interact. So this is going to be the event that is, we will be using. So as we can see here, it's going to be shown up here. Then we want to have a serialized field, private, load. And this is going to be how far off we can pick it up from. Then we want to have a private, private transform player and a private pool can interact. So start player equals find game of object of type player. So just choose a script that your player has on it and then type dot transform and uh, now we want to have a update function and in the update function we want to have a vector2 distance to player and this is going to be player dot position minus transform dot position so this is going to calculate how far away the player is from the, uh, the item. You can look up uh, vector math if you want to know more about this. Now we want to have a if distance to player dot magnitude is less than uh, pickup range. So if we are in range to pick up pick this item up. Uh, we want to set can interact equals true and we want to make a else so if we are not uh, close enough we want to set this to false and we can check if this is uh, right by doing this debug.log can interact here so this is going to print can interact every frame 
so we can look if this is right but before that i want to first uh, make so we can see the uh, pickup range because right now if we go back to unity we can see that we can't really see how far away the uh, how far the pickup range is actually so in here uh, we want to have a on draw gizmos event so we want to have a nice color on this gizmos and uh, we can pick whatever color we like I'm gonna choose green and then we want to have gizmos.draw wire sphere and here you can see that we need a vector free and a float so the center is going to be transform dot position so the wires uh, sphere is going to be on the item and then we want the pickup range so now if we go back into unity we can see that now we can actually see the pickup range so now we, we can make it bigger smaller I like that's a nice size so now we can test this so make sure it's collapsed uh, otherwise it will be very messy so now you can see that it's false the uh, on uh, can interact is false but when we go in it becomes true perfect now we want to have in we can remove this this and now we want to have so when you press uh, the uh, a button on your keyboard you will actually interact inputs dot get key down key code dot e you can choose whatever uh, key you want and can interact so if we press the letter e and can interact is true this event uh, we will be able to interact so in here we want to call the on interact event so let's do that on interact dot invoke and that is how easy it is to make a system like this so now we can actually set this up so what do we want to uh, uh, what do we want what should happen when we interact with this so let's add a new list you can add how many you want but uh, I'm gonna just drag the player uh, no no the item in here and then I will do something like this game object set active equals false like in the preview and as you can see the uh, item became uh, got disabled thanks for watching this video uh, if you learned something then please hit the subscribe button or the like button this is my first video so i hope uh, it didn't suck too much and if you want more tutorials or devlogs or something like that in the future then i can make some i guess so thanks for watching everyone